Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Legion Teaches History. I am your host, Ryan, with Legion Teaches History. And today we're going to be talking about, as you can tell from the title, the Eastern Front Winter... The Eastern Front Winters... Okay, I'm just going to stop with the freaking joke. Howdy, everyone. I'm the Shadow of the Hawk. And uh, that little intro, as you can tell, this is not my channel, and I'm not Ryan. Uh, I made this video as, like, kind of a, just a, a fun little history co-op type thing, just something Ryan could put on his channel, because I know he's got a lot on his plate, and uh, I like history, I like talking about history, and I like reading about history. So, uh, this is a little event that I don't think has an official name on the world stage, because no one really talks about it, but I am calling it, based on some of the terminology in the book, the Eastern Front Winter Sports Show of February 17th, 1943. Now, what is this little event about? I gotta take off this freaking helmet, it's, it's, ah. It's bothering me. Uh, but so, what is this event? What am I talking about? Well, uh, as for those of you who don't know, during 1943, the winter of 1943, uh, the first one, or which is technically the winter of 1942, the Germans of the uh, Pinwheel Party were actively invading the um, gathering of socialist countries of unified intent and purpose under... Am I allowed to say his name? I'm not going to say his name just because YouTube doesn't like it. Uh, but we all know who I'm talking about. We all know what I'm talking about. Obviously, you know, you're taught this in history. Uh, spoiler alert, America wins. Anyway, uh, so this was the early days of the invasion. And you, uh, the specific assault that this little incident occurred was under the leader of Erhard Raus. Now, Erhard Raus is the guy who uh, wrote this book. It was translated by this guy right here. And uh, so the uh, the general tactic uh, of the front that he was on was to take Leningrad, to secure Leningrad as a way of a staging post deeper into Russian territory, as well as the fact that Leningrad was, well, Leningrad. It was a very important city. The German strategy was basically Blitzkrieg. Brute force, punch through the line, secure Leningrad by winter, and then fortify the hell out of it. And then using pre-established supply lines that are defended by a newly pushed up front in order to, well you know, keep the guys that are in Leningrad safe and happy. Apparently the Germans didn't know what mud was because it heavily slowed their advance. So winter hit before they could take Leningrad and that forced them into a winter campaign without appropriate winter attire or supplies or spare parts. They had to cannibalize multiple panzers and they already didn't have a lot of panzers because... You know, a Panzer Corps can be called a Panzer Corps with one company of Panzers, I guess. I don't really know. I'm not German. I can't really explain that. But so you had uh, Edgar Raus, Ed, Ed, Erhard Raus, and his units were pulled back and they were building up fortified positions in these different villages. Because, you know, you needed a place to stay warm in the middle of the night in fucking Russia. So they hunkered down, they fortified, they were defending themselves there. There was a village on the edge of the front lines. That um, uh, Erhard decided, hey, that needs reinforcements. So he tasked a company of ski troopers who were using a mix of civilian winter gear and stolen Russian gear in order to guard themselves and, um, you know, stay warm. And they were sent off in the middle of the night so the Russians couldn't see them. The Russians, who due to logistical issues had to also take on civilian equipment as, their, as well as their standard Soviet uniforms, uh, Soviet winter gear, excuse me, also dispatched a force to this village to attack it in the middle of the night. They launched in the middle of the night so the Germans would not see them coming. The two groups proceeded to meet each other on the road, and without a single word being spoken by either, just assumed they were reinforcements, and banded together and moved towards the village. A couple hours pass, and the Russians are at the village, and they start, like, getting ready to attack the village. And the Germans look at them and ask them, in, 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 in the only proper terminology, Oh, mein comrades. Why are you getting ready to attack? That's our village. To which the Russians said, Wait, you're German? And both sides went, Nani? Kawa? And proceeded to start beating the shit out of each other. Uh, and uh, this, this fun little uh, winter sports show of like uh, Germans and Russians on skis fighting each other outside this village. By the way, the village had no idea what was going on. Like, I can just imagine some like German on guard just like, why do I hear a hockey match going on outside? What is going on? And uh, the, the, the hockey match was ended unfairly with the use of submachine guns, driving the Russians into the woods. N never change, humanity. Just just never change. Speaking of never changing, uh, if you guys want this channel to change, 
Like this video, make sure to leave a comment down below and show Ryan that uh, Legion Teaches History is a channel that you want to see doing more content. And if you want to see my ugly mug on here more, uh, again, bully Ryan or, or, or don't. If you want to see more of him, bully me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for if you got into this part of the video. Have a good day. Have a good time. See you next time here on Legion Teaches History. And feel free to check us out over on Legion Talk where you can see some more pop culture takes from the man who runs this channel and me as well, if you want to hear my garbage Zoomer takes.